guys a little closer because like let's like let's like hang and like talk. Oh, oh, I don't it's not stopping. Why is the zoom not stopping? I don't understand what's going on right now. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> hey you guys, so today I am going to hang with you guys. Um, I'm gonna start, we're gonna do some skincare. I have plans. Um, I'm also gonna show you guys how I do my skincare in the evening. It's a weekend, so maybe we hang, we chill. I started watching The Watcher. <sighs> literally, it was like watching, at least the first couple of episodes, it was literally like watching myself when I have anxiety at night. Um, searching my house and making Brady, my husband, search through my house, which is really funny. And also, it puts into perspective a little bit how crazy I probably look to my husband when I'm like frantically searching through the house to make sure nobody's in my house. Anyways, sorry, my hair's a little wild because I literally just got out of the shower. I have a new skincare routine that is so, so soothing, so hydrating, perfect for going into winter because I know we're still in fall, but we're about to get into winter and it's about to get dry. So yeah, I've been using Dalba. I start with this first spray serum, then I go in with the double layer revitalizing serum. And then I use this holy, new holy grail of mine. You can literally customize your moisturizer, but we'll talk about that when I get to moisturizer. So something that's kind of cool about these products is there's no surfactants in them. So what you're gonna see is a little bit of separation, like what we have here, this yellow ring that goes around the top. This is the oil layer. So in the oil layer, there is and let me geek out here. You guys know that I love skincare, so I, I need my moment to geek out with you guys. This top layer that's settling up here, this is the oil layer. So in here, there's avocado oil, sunflower seed oil. There's also, um, if I'm not mistaken, chia seed oil. Now, all of these things together are very soothing, very hydrating for the skin, um, especially sunflower seed oil. Sunflower seed oil is really, really great at soothing the skin. And it's also been shown in studies to help repair the skin barrier, so that is something that I wanted you guys to know. Um, and then down here is the essence. So so since there's no surfactants, you do want to shake it up and it's the same with the serum. Can you guys tell I've been literally loving these products? I'm like almost halfway done with this serum and then like, you know, I thank God a little goes a long way with this because it's so dang good. I love it so much. There is white truffle. White truffle has to grow for about seven to 10 years before it can be harvested. Kind of bougie, but we love that, but it's really good for fine lines, aging, wrinkles, that kind of thing. Anyways, so I'm going in with this double revitalizing serum, basically a more highly concentrated version of the spray. Just press it into my skin. So I got this little tip from an esthetician. She said to put a spray in between every skincare stuff for extra hydration. This moisturizer, when I tell you, this moisturizer is so incredible. Just try it, let me know what you think about it. This side has the serum in it, and then this side is the heavier cream. So if you live in a drier climate or have really dry skin, you can do two parts cream, one part serum. If you live in a place like LA, you can do one to one, or if you have normal skin, one to one. If you're needing a lighter moisturizer, do two parts serum and one part cream. Like, customize it. The moisturizer is your oyster, okay? The world is your oyster. So there's two ways you can do it. You can either mix them together and do do like one, one and mix them together. I personally like them to each have their own moment, so I do them one at a time, but I do a one-to-one -one ratio. I think the reason I keep coming back to it is because after about five to 10 minutes of having that moisturizer sit on my skin, I literally feel it penetrating. You can feel it soothing your skin and hydrating your skin. And there were like two or three days where I forgot to do my skincare routine, which is crazy i don't do that but i did okay i'm not gonna lie and i could still feel my skin was hydrated from this routine that i've been doing but yeah seriously i can't get over how hydrated my like my skin looks so freaking supple look i look like i have glass skin i'm looking at my skin in the monitor <sighs> and i didn't even mention how good this looks under makeup how good this looks under makeup we haven't even talked about it. We didn't even, I didn't even bring that up, but I, I'm done talking about this. It's so good. Try it. Um, my favorite is this. This is my favorite. Boom. She's stunning. But I am starving, so let's go make me a smoothie. So I've been on a pretty intense smoothie kick, um, and I don't know why. Well, I, no, that's a lie. I know why. It's because I literally ate like garbage um for a full week and i feel disgusting and so i've been like basically only eating smoothies for the last two meals 
<laughs> I'm so dramatic. I'm acting like I've had smoothies nonstop for like two weeks. I'm just like losing my mind over it. No, I've, I've made two smoothies, okay you guys? I've made two smoothies. What is wrong with me? Oh, I'm gonna make my third smoothie of my hopeful cleanse. I'm trying to eat, eat things that are like a little softer on my body because my impulse control is just absolute trash. <laughs> Why is protein like so unbearable? I tried the Poosh smoothie from Air One and that's what sent me down this spiral of wanting smoothies but also not paying $22 for them. Mm. This tastes like the Poosh smoothie. Why? Because the Poosh smoothie is 90% banana. Who's paying $22 for one banana? Me. Look, look at you, stunning. Are you kidding me? Do I have the cutest dogs or do I have the cutest dogs? I'll hold your hand through anything, my son. I love you. Well, so this is my closet. Oh my God, it's a fucking old mess if I do say so myself. We've got shoes in a bucket because I don't know how to organize them. I know. We've got wasted space right here. I just, it's so frustrating. Then I added this rack and I added that rack. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do is add the shelf that was here back above there put my bathing suits that are hanging These are all bathing suits. Why are they in such easily grabbable place when I don't go to the beach that often? Don't ask me. I literally don't know, but we're gonna move those up here I got a shelf that I want to put here and we're just going to reorganize my whole closet because this is a disaster I do keep my luggage up there, which I can't reach up there. So there's no point in moving that let's get into this I do like to hang my bathing suits though because I feel like when I put them in like those little, what are those little like organizing boxes? I, feel I never find them and then like I'm always running behind when I'm going to the beach. And I also got these like little thingies to hold the bottoms. I got them on Amazon. Such a good purchase. Let's see if we can figure that we've got these directions. Boom. I think, I think we got it. The directions say I have to <laughs> undo this. I have to like align. Yeah, I'm putting the shelves in the brackets. We're on the last bolt, look at this, last one. Honestly, I will say this has been a very easy process and they did give me um, a screwdriver, which you never get an extra screwdriver in any kind of package. So give me a full size screwdriver, which is honestly really nice of them. But, okay, finish this, so let's go hang it up. Oh, perfect size, it's perfect. That is pretty sturdy, so that is not going anywhere. I added a little extra reinforcement here. I'm gonna have to fix the paint right there, but I'm honestly not that worried about it. Okay, let's start actually organizing. <laughs> Bathing suits all here, beach wear, pants and sweaters here, party tops that I literally don't wear and or don't fit in, that kind of vibe, or just summer tops that I don't need for fall. Okay, I tried to be like very organized about this, but kind of goes by comfortability and then style. So tops that I don't really love wearing and then it goes into tops that are like super comfy. <laughs> so then I've got this Babaton bodysuit. This is literally one of my favorite pieces. Pieces. God, that's so annoying when people call their tops pieces. What I'm trying to say is this was a little bit more expensive, this bodysuit, and it's so comfortable and I love it every single time that I wear it. It's from Aritzia. Annoying. I hate shopping there too. It's frustrating. But the Babaton stuff is literally my favorite at Aritzia. Makes your body look nice. It feels good. It makes you feel confident. So I really like this. I used to buy a lot of like piece of shit tops and pants and things. And I feel like since I've started investing more in my wardrobe, I've, I've started to understand like things that make you genuinely feel confident and really feel good in your body and things like that. More valuable in my opinion. So another one that was worth it. This is the Skims bodysuit. I actually really love it so much. Very comfy, very comfy material. I do think that the Aritzia one is higher quality. I think it'll last longer. I feel like these, if they get dried, 
could really get damaged so um but they are really great i do really love them and i like the way that they're cut things like that but then after my favorite body suits and like uncomfortable tops it goes into like more comfy tops that i would wear like daily then i go by sleeve cropped long sleeves and then these are more cropped blazers things of that nature so down here i've got like dresses i can wear like every day i have a dress closet that i keep all my dresses in but this is like all my everyday wear i love wearing these like button-up tops over top of sports bras things like that dunks air forces shoes that i just like need to be able to grab really quickly my laundry basket full of dirty clothes <laughs> my blue denim and then colored denim pants that i honestly don't know what their category is they're like party pants fun pants things of that nature leather pants and then pants um, over storage of this sweatshirts extra crew necks shoes more shoes you know that's the vibe i think i'm gonna do a very chill makeup do i do lancome tinty doll this one this one i kind of feel like this well neither of them look like my shade they both look a little too cool for me but i'm gonna do the beautiful skin from charlotte tilbury i'm telling you guys oh that actually doesn't look bad the skincare routine that i did earlier today literally is so good under makeup like painfully good it looks so good always um but anyways we need to like talk because there's so much going on lately <laughs> does anybody else watch the kardashians because i 100 percent do and if you watch the kardashians are you following this young sweet rose stuff like what is going on like is travis cheating on our girl i don't know you guys might not care about that at all and in any case i don't really have an opinion on it i'm just like wow aside from the whole young sweet row drama i have some drama in my house no i'm just kidding it's not actual real drama but brady brady has the most random and funny tiktok for you page and it's just the greatest thing i've ever seen in my life like there's this one that he's become obsessed with and he sings it all over the house and it's these like 30 boys it's like a little jewish boy band i wish that i knew what it was called because it's so iconic so he comes in the house and he's singing this song and it's like Harim Shaviva. <laughs> i don't know i don't know like what it is and i'm not pronouncing that or saying those words right but he thinks he knows this song now and he thinks that everyone's seen this TikTok. and i'm like babe i don't think anybody's seen that like i don't think anybody's getting that on their for you page he tells all of our friends about this like boy band TikTok that he <laughs> he sees everyone's like uh no i think it's just you brady it makes him so sad every single time he thinks it's the funniest TikTok, and he like loves it when it comes up on his for you page and it's come up multiple times this is the siate london doll face there was this one day where i was like let's play this game where like i have to like lip sing a song and you have to guess it and then i it's stupid we just got bored okay i don't know why we were doing this and you know i did like a pussycat doll song like something easy to start off the game and brady so about a half an hour goes by and i'm like enunciate like what are you saying he's just laughing and he's like oh you'll get it you'll get it and he just laughed hysterically for like 20 minutes because he thought it was so funny anyways that's Brady for you. He needs to be protected at all costs. I know. And aside from Brady finding new uh, like TikTok fans daily, um, what's going on with you guys? Like, what's what's the tea? Oh, Taylor Swift came out with her album. I'm actually not a Swifty, but I say that with love in my heart. I do respect her, and I do think she's one of the greatest songwriters. I brought out an OG. I brought out the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I would have shown you guys, but my camera died. Okay, so like, what was I supposed to do? It looks so good. I haven't baked my skin in over a year. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I was going to take my dogs for WALK, but they didn't want to go when I went to GO. So now I'm thinking I'll clean until they want to play. And then, look at her, she just wants to sleep. She just wants to sleep. I just want to be a sleepy girl. I just want to be a sleepy girl. The puppy just want to be a sleepy boy. Babies. What they want is snuggles. <gasps> bushy bushy. Okay, I'm gonna listen to two hot takes because that's my favorite podcast. Jaw dropping is one way to put it. <gasps> oh, okay. So usually Morgan, the host of the show, hasn't read the story or, you know, seen it before. So we kind of get their thoughts on the situation, but they're crazy at stories. They're from the Am I the Asshole thread on Reddit. Have you tried your cider yet? No. Let's listen. <laughs> Ankle. I make this thing taller. Jeez. Am I 
the asshole for asking my stepsister which mom she is referring to during a heated argument. I'll keep it short. Yes. So basically, my 15 female stepsister, 13 female, has been living with us for almost a year after the death of her real mother. Ever since then, my parents have been very distant with me, almost like they forgot me. They always compliment her for literally anything. Buy her more things than me because, quote, she scores higher grades at school and so on. Despite all of this, I tried my best to remain calm and show that I'm not really bothered by it. But today is where I lost it. My friends and I have been planning a sleepover at one of my friends' house for today. The thing is, today is also my stepsister's birthday. Because of this, my parents are, all caps, forcing me to go out with them and cancel my sleepover plans. I was, of course, very angry. I do not want to celebrate her birthday. Oh my God. While I was arguing with my parents, my stepsister decided to step in and say, quote, I can do my sleepover plans tomorrow and that she wants me to be there with mom and dad. This is when I asked her which mother she's referring to. Now, both her birthday and my you sleepover are canceled and I'm punished. Can't go out for a month. Yeah, as you should be. Do you guys think I was in the wrong here? Why should yeah. I be forced to spend time with them when I don't want to? Because you're being a my little bitch. I am in the right, but my parents obviously think otherwise, which is why I'm posting here. <gasps> oh, I have thoughts. That little bitch. This girl's mother died, and she has the audacity to ask which mother you're talking about. Oh my god. This younger girl doesn't understand that her issue isn't with her stepsister or half sister or whatever. Her issue is with her parents giving attention, more attention uh, to her stepsister. So she's, she's misdirecting her anger and lashing out on the sister because she's the one who's on the receiving end of this attention. When really it's not her the sister that she is upset with. She's mad that her parents are giving all this attention to the sister, which is just sad because it's like, let's not pit siblings against each other because that's a great way to ruin the relationship between siblings. And that's honestly something that those parents need to figure out. And it's honestly really unfortunate that the parents can't see that what they're doing is putting two girls between each other. You know, if the one doesn't want to go celebrate, like, don't let her, don't make her, but, like, also give the other one enough attention so that she can realize that she is loved because she probably feels, like, abandoned by her parents. But, like, yeah, you're being a little bitch because your parents are, you know, giving the other one too much attention and basically saying you're not as good as the other sister, but it's not an excuse to be... All right, you guys. Well, the day is basically over. Baby, you wanna be outside or inside? Here, come, just come in here. The day is over. So I'm gonna get ready for bed. I just ordered Chipotle. It just got to my house. And I'm gonna watch the washer. Just get my paranoia and my anxiety going, okay? And then I'm going to go to bed. But very uneventful day, but it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so skincare routine for tonight. Let me actually turn on my main light, my overhead light, so it's not so dark. Is this a little bit better? Same exact routine that I did in the morning, and I think that this is honestly like a really great place to start with your skincare routine because it's a great lifting off point. Whoa, what's going on with my hair? It's a great like lifting. It's a great getting off point. Whatever, what a lifting off, great lifting off. What is that saying? You know what I mean? I feel like you understand what is happening here. What is that saying that the older generations are saying these days? So basically my routine is um, the same as it is in the morning, except this time I need to double cleanse. Um, and oh, I'm using the Youth of the People Super Berry Dream Cleansing Balm. I gotta say there are better cleansing balms than this one. I don't normally use this, but this is one of those like textured like silicone things and I'm just gonna use it as I rinse my skin off just to kind of help get that makeup off 
but just use it very gently because if you have sensitive skin like me, sometimes materials are just as bad. Not even just makeup wipes, you know, with alcohol in them, but sometimes like cotton balls, cotton pads, that kind of thing can be like too harsh on skin that's sensitive. So just be aware, you yeah, know? For my cleanser, I'm gonna use the niacinamide um, cleansing jelly uh, 3% from Naturium. For cleansers, I usually just stick with something that's calming, but this one, you know, with the niacinamide in it and this one doesn't honestly have too much in it. Um, this is mostly niacinamide and other cleansing uh, agents in it. So not a whole lot of alcohols or anything really going on in that cleanser, but it's a good, nice, simple cleanser. Not gonna, you know, do too much to your skin, especially if you're using um, a skincare line like what I'm using, just like something very calming, very gentle, just really hydrating. In your 20s, like honestly, focus on hydration. Um, but also one thing I really, 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 really want people to understand with the skincare routine, with skin concerns that they're going through, you will never know what your actual skin concerns are unless you have a good baseline routine. Um, and unless you can see your skin calm, you have to have like a very simple skincare routine for a while. If you're going through acne, if you're having any kind of irritation, take all the actives out and do a very simple skincare line like this morning and night. It doesn't have to be this exact line, but you should be doing something that's very, very simple because you need to understand your baseline. And then once you understand your baseline a little bit better, then you can start adding actives. And so if you were going to add an active into your skincare routine, you could add like a retinol. And so if I was going to add an, a retinol into this routine, I would have cleansed just now. Um, you can do the spray for spray serum, you know, second, or you could use a retinol at this point. You could use um, a vitamin C, a different kind of antioxidant. You can use some type of treatment serum. And if you don't know if your product's a treatment serum, um, if it says something like a firming serum, use the firming serum after your cleanser. Any kind of active treatment product would go after your cleanser. And then do your spray in between each step. Do your hydrating serum. I'm obviously using this one that you guys saw earlier, but I do think, you know, before you start adding those actives in, it's just very important to have a routine that's simple, straightforward, so that your skin can do its job. Um, and a skincare routine like what I do right now enables my skin to do its job because it's hydrating my skin, so it's repairing my skin barrier. Um, and the stronger your skin barrier is, the more it can repair itself, the better it can deal with, you know, loss of water, or loss of hydration, um, dry, more dryness, irritation, acne. Your skin will do its best with a simple, straightforward skincare routine. You don't always need to have like the craziest thing. And I've said that so many times. In the evening too, if you need more hydration, like I said earlier in the video, just do like one part serum and two parts cream. I'm gonna do a little bit less cream. But that's what I do in the evening. I add a little bit more cream to the mix. This moisturizer is honestly, like I, I really like, the way that you can feel this moisturizer start to work after literally five, 10 minutes, like it sits on your skin, it's face, whatever. And then, whoa, there's a hair on my face. And then after about five, 10 minutes, you really feel it start to penetrate and it's just like, wow. There are a lot of brands I would, not even brands I would steer clear from, but like there are a lot of products I would steer clear from if you're going through an irritated phase. But yeah, if you wanna understand your skin a little bit better, I just recommend getting a very simple, straightforward routine that hydrates your skin so that it can calm down from the irritation, from the dryness, from the acne, and so that you can truly understand what your skin needs. Because when it's hydrated, that's when you're gonna find out what your skin actually needs, you know? I'll link this stuff down below. Um, I got mine on Amazon, but you can go on their site, you can go on Amazon, get it from wherever you want. But I'm gonna go now, very eventful day, hanging out with you guys. But I'm gonna go eat some Chipotle and watch The Watcher because it is so damn entertaining. And I'm probably gonna have nightmares tonight. So, um, love you guys. I will see you guys in the next video.